I'm Bruce Chandler and I'm a state legislator and I'm an orchardist outside the town of Granger in the heart of the Yakima Valley. I think farming's what got me involved in politics in the first place. It became obvious to me that you have to be in the room, you have to actually get involved in order to make things better. I'm currently serving my seventh term in the House. I've met so many people that I would never have had any opportunity to meet in any other way and such a broad diversity of people, it's, it's been fascinating. I think being a legislator is one of the toughest public offices that we have in the state, partly because it's part-time, partly because it's 200 miles away in Olympia, and it always seems to be in session or have committee hearings at the most awkward times. Around here, everybody wants to know what's going on, and they want to know what's for real and what's just hype, and so what people need these days is information, good sound information about what the issues really are and what the options are. I've been here 27 years now, and I think the most notable thing is that I used to have maybe the smallest parcel of land on this four-mile stretch of road, and now it's one of the larger parcels. It's really filling in with people that want to live here but don't want to farm, so there's been a lot of subdivision. The best thing about farming here is that is the best place to grow pears, which is what I grow. I love the industry, I love working with the people that I knew and that I met, and so it seemed kind of a natural thing to do. It's a great place for kids to grow up. I have three kids, and it was great for them. Actually watching people eat something that I've grown and smile as I eat it. I can't really describe how exciting that is. And I always wanted my kids to share that, that experience, and I think that they have. Being able to have a state and a country in which we can provide for ourselves is, is crucially important. And you can see that in countries, other countries and other areas of the world where they don't have the ability or the opportunity to feed themselves. It, uh, it, it's a much more challenging the life for them and and I think it's a matter of national security to tell you the truth and, and uh, certainly for, for national prosperity to be able to produce high quality nutritious food for people to eat right here at home. We are the original environmentalists. Farming is a lot about renewal. Sustainability is to be able to go from one generation to another and still have the soil that's fertile and to have the kind of balance of insects and, and other life that helps you to actually be a good steward of the farm. Because without that, you end up mining the environment and then after a few years you find out you can't be productive at all. But it's also, you can't neglect the environment. You know, the idea that things in their natural state mean that we don't do anything, I think is mistaken. And the fact of the matter is that, that good, sophisticated farming not only feeds people, but it actually is good stewardship of the land. This pond holds just under four acre feet of water. It's a pond that we put in because it allowed us to store water for use in frost protection before the actual irrigation season. And it actually has helped us to clean the water before we apply it in the orchard and to manage irrigation scheduling a lot better. It's been a real step forward for us. And it was designed in large part by the Conservation District. We worked real closely with the South Yakima Conservation District and actually improves water quality. And we've been able to actually sustain the orchard with less water in large part because of it. Policies that state government makes make all the difference for the success of farmers and agriculture. The best help that the legislature can give to Washington's agriculture is to not try to micromanage the practices that our experience and our education and our research and development have really shown to be the best practices to sustain agriculture in the future. In central Washington, we as farmers really appreciate the value of a good transportation system. 30 to 40 percent of all the food commodities that are produced here in Yakima Valley are exported, not just across the country, but overseas. And in order to do that, we have to have a system that involves trains, trucks, and ships in order to get our products into the markets where they need to be. Commercial trucking regulations are extremely important because we have to have our products arrive in good condition in a timely manner. And the trucking industry is extremely important to all of Washington agriculture. We are one of the most trade-dependent states in the country. 
Banks are extremely important. Agriculture is perhaps the most capital intensive industry and business that, that you can be in. And without their support, you can't make the investments or take the risks that you have to do to be on the cutting edge. I think agriculture will come back stronger than before. For Washington State, it's a three and a half billion dollar impact on the economy. It generates 160,000 jobs plus all the jobs that occur in processing and logistics and marketing. It's really a cornerstone industry for our state and we do better at it than most any other state in the country. Let's get Washington working again.